Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is another bookish beverages. This time I'm doing a topic that I'm extra excited about and that I actually got a lot of requests to do. We're talking about my mug collection. And this is actually just going to be part one of the mug collection. I am hoping to get through the majority of them, which are the ones that I keep here at my apartment. But since I typically drink coffee and tea all day at work, I have a separate stash of some of my favorites back in my cubicle at work. So I will save those for another video and today we'll just talk about the ones that I keep here at home. I will start off with the mug that I've been using today and that is my tiny mug. So my tiny mug isn't very fancy, but it does have some cute colors. I like this green and blue thing going on. I generally only use this mug whenever I make a pot of tea, which is what I did today. Since it doesn't hold a lot, the tea doesn't stay in the cup long enough to get cold, and then the rest of it can also stay warm in the teapot, so it works out pretty well. This next mug I actually got from my grandparents. It was part of a set that they had, and I loved it so much that I ended up taking one or two of them with me to college. This is the only one I have now. I think the other ones broke. And the reason I love this mug is because it looks a lot like the mugs that they use on Star Trek The Next Generation. I will try to find a picture and put it up over there so you can see and compare because they're pretty similar and it makes me feel very captainy when I drink my Earl Grey hot in this mug. Speaking of Star Trek, I'll move on to two of my other favorite mugs. The first of these belonged to my grandfather, and it is an original series mug. It's kind of hard to make out, but it's Kirk, Spock, and McCoy on the transporter pads. It's one of those mugs where um, normally the characters would be visible, and then whenever the mug got hot, because you put some sort of hot beverage in it, they would energize. But um, sadly, I believe this went through the microwave or the dishwasher and lost that power, but um, it's still fun. It says Star Trek on the back, and yeah, I enjoy it. My next Star Trek mug is from The Next Generation, and it's the blueprints of the Enterprise D. I really enjoy this mug, and it's pretty much my go-to mug whenever I am reading a sci-fi book. Then, since I have sci-fi mugs, I of course need fantasy mugs. The first of these I got in Seattle at EMP when they had the sci-fi and fantasy exhibit, and it is a dragon, as you can see. And it says um, fantasy in big cool purple letters um, and underneath it says worlds of myth and magic. This is my go-to fantasy mug but I have a second mug that I feel fits my fantasy mood quite often and is especially nice because it's so big. So you can see it's got this nice cool um, green color and it's got like a map and it says right and it's actually from Camp NaNoWriMo last year. I participated in Camp NaNoWriMo last year with a couple of my friends and it was really really fun and I just decided to commemorate it by buying this mug because I thought it was too cool. I also, like I said, just really like how big it is. It's great for when I am having a super sleepy morning and just need all the coffee immediately. It's also nice for making those um, mug cakes. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but basically you like just mix stuff in the mug and then microwave it and it makes a little like personal size cake. And I really like making it in these big mugs because oftentimes those end up being a little bit too big for regular size mugs. But even if they're not in this one, you have room for putting ice cream on top, which is very handy. Then I have one other big mug, which is my Mega Tokyo mug. And I've actually had this since I was about 13 or 14, something like that. Like late middle school time. Mega Tokyo, if you don't know, is a webcomic um, which is actually still getting regular updates but I was obsessed with it back when I was like 13 or 14 and I knew when the updates were supposed to come out and I made sure to check it on those days so I was always up to date. At some point I sort of drifted away from it. Um, I do know that it's still ongoing but I have not actually read it in several years so I have no idea where the comic is at this point or what's happening in it, um, if I would still enjoy it, but I do have many happy memories of reading it and this mug reminds me of those. Also, this was, I believe, my first ever purchase from ThinkGeek. I discovered ThinkGeek because they used to sell all the Mega Tokyo merchandise. At some point I bought this as well as a uh, messenger bag 
and that was when I first realized the amazing geeky awesomeness that is this website. So that's also kind of a nice emotional attachment that I now have to this mug. All right, we are down to my last three favorites now. The first of these I enjoy whenever I'm feeling a little bit homesick. It just says Cowan's Restaurant on it and there's some pie. Let's see, can get a closer look. Um, but yeah, so Cowan's is a restaurant from my hometown and it's a place that I always enjoy going. It's kind of a nice diner breakfast sort of place. I mean, they have food all day, but I really enjoy their breakfast. They're also somewhat locally famous for their mile high meringue pie, so hence the logo. Yeah, I have some really fond memories of this place from growing up. I used to go there pretty often with family and friends, Sunday of breakfast, or people are coming in to visit, whatever. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy it. They have great coffee. I've always loved their coffee. I can remember being a kid and drinking their coffee there. The only rule was that I had to have decaf, but I was allowed to order basically a whole carafe of coffee for myself and drink it if we went to Cowan's, so that was always exciting. And at some point they started selling their mugs, so one year when I was visiting I decided to pick one up and bring it back to Portland with me, so I have a little something to remind me of home whenever I'm having my morning coffee. This next one also reminds me of my family because it was a gift from my parents for my birthday one year, and um, on top of that it's just kind of hilarious and totally sums me up. So as you can see, it is Grumpy Cat, and it says, do I look like I rise and shine? Yes. I do not rise and shine. I am not a morning person in any way, and this mug just totally sums me up, so it is one of my favorites. It's really nice on those mornings when I am feeling extra grumpy and not awake yet, because it's hard to stay grumpy when you're looking at this mug. It's a pretty funny mug. I really like it. Which brings me to my final mug, which as you can see, is also kitty related. So this is my Dargo mug. As many of you know, Dargo was my kitty who passed away a few months ago, which was a really, really hard time for me. Um, still kind of a hard time for me, but it's definitely getting easier day by day. And a big part of that is the fact that I have so many supportive friends. This mug is evidence of that because it was sent to me by my friend Catherine, along with a big package of some really lovely loose tea. Catherine lives in a different state from me. And she said that since she couldn't bring me some comfort food like a casserole, she would send me this tea and mug so I could have a comforting beverage, which I thought was just so sweet of her, and I really love the tea and I really love this mug, so this is my dark oat mug, and it's kind of nice to have a little reminder of him as well as a reminder of my awesome friends. Okay, so those are all of my favorite mugs at home, thus wrapping up part one of the mug edition of Bookish Beverages. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think of these mugs. If you have any similar mugs or stories about your personal favorites that you want to share, I'd love to hear it, so let me know. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope everybody's week is going well, and I will talk to you later. Bye!